And to add to the list of things that do go wrong, our original location is also not available, so we're going to have to think of somewhere else to shoot. So for a while now, I've been having this love-hate relationship with portrait photos. Sometimes I take portrait photos that I'm really happy with, and some portrait photos I completely don't feel inspired by. And that is a normal part of photography, that is a normal part of the process, and I understand that, but I want to get better. But being better is obviously subjective, it depends on how the model poses, it depends on the location, the time, all, all kinds of factors. And a lot of that is out of my own control. But I guess the one thing that I can control is how I take photos. So today I'm going to go on a portrait shoot, I'm going to try to focus more on posing a model, angling myself to take better photos, and just being more experimental. And I'm going to be doing all that with this. This right here is the new Sigma 20mm f2. I've had a little play around with this lens and I have to be honest, it is actually kind of nice. The only downside that I have noticed is that it does feel a bit slow with the focus, but other than that, it it's really nice. It has a clicky aperture ring, which is just satisfying. But yeah, let's go pick up the model. Let's go pick up the one because He's helping me film this video, as always. And maybe I can teach you guys some portrait tips along the way as well, so let's go shoot. I feel like this is like a weapon. I, sh I shouldn't be just doing this. This is, what, anyway, let's go. Yo, what's going on? So Sigma have kindly given me a second 20 mil F2 to give away. So be sure to stick around at the end of the video to find out how you can win one of these. And back to the video. So I got Lamont, I got Nina, the model. So yeah, basically the shoot is gonna be a beach sunset shoot with the 20 mils. Yeah, just gonna be showing the process of learning to be better at portrait photography. Cause both of us suck. Both of us really suck. So That's terrible. Yeah, but I'm excited to sort of like learn more and try different ideas to sort of get the model in a way that, you know, I want it to be in, in my head, so yeah. A good thing about today is that it was really hot today, but it's cooling down now, which is good. Nina's recently actually done a beach shoot. When she did that, it was really cold, so hopefully it'll be a lot better this time. No, I mean, the cold, the water might be cold, but yeah. But yeah. Oh, you're so cute. We have a little bit less time, actually, than what the actual sunset says. So we have to make do with what we have. We pretty much arrive at a time where the sun is pretty much setting now really fast, so we're gonna have to shoot really quickly, um, get all our shots and try our best, so let's get to it. We're just gonna start off with some very general shots, getting comfortable with the area, and then sort of feeling it out, and then maybe we can get into some more posing and more stylized stuff. Yeah. Right. This 20 mil is actually pretty interesting. I'm really, I'm really liking this. Okay, Ooh. we'll try this out. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I want you to sort of like, just sway around, like near the edge of the water, yeah, just sway around, holding the dress out, if you want to like flare it out as well. Like. Yeah, just capturing that movement. In comparison to the 35, it definitely feels, it feels different. Yeah. I like, I like these shots. I like um, I think these are more like statement shots as well. The sunset really, really fast, so. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Cool. <laughs> fast sunset. <laughs> we got here a little too late, but I think. Yeah. It would've been nice if we got here a little bit. Yeah, but I think I'm pretty happy with some of the shots I got, so I can work with that. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, I got, I got some shots. Well, yeah. So I'm happy with that. And it's not too cold, right? Not too cold. Yeah. Last time I was like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So me and Lamont thought we wrapped up the shoot, 
But I think we're deciding to keep going uh, with Blue Hour. I think Blue Hour gives us a little bit of a different aesthetic. So we're going to try that and hopefully Nina's okay with that. Okay, so we both took some photos of Nina, sort of just like walking along the uh, coast of the beach. Coast, is that what it's called? Just like the shoreline with the sun like just slowly going down. Yeah, that's, it's, it's nice. Like at the moment it's like blue hours, so it's really pretty. And now we're gonna try some more like submerging shots where she's sitting in water, like she's already uh, screaming because it's cold, but she'll be fine. So basically she's gonna be in the water and we'll take some photos of that. Yeah, Blue Hour, definitely a good choice. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I think it turned out a little bit better. Um, it definitely suited the vibe, or the, 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 the like feeling, emotion we were trying to go for, so that was good. What did you think of the shoot? It was good, it's really yeah. chill, yeah. And it's very pretty. I only got a glimpse, but it looks very pretty. <laughs> yes, the sunset was way too fast, but hopefully you can work with it. So after we recorded that shoot, I realized I don't have any photos with other lenses to compare with the 20mm. So we organized another day to shoot and here it is. Alright, so we're back in the city to do some more portraits. We originally planned for a sunset shoot. It's changing to more like a blue hour nighttime shoot. And to add to the list of things that do go wrong, our original location is also not available so we're gonna have to think of somewhere else to shoot but yeah either way night portraits in the city let's go all right so my original plan was to shoot at the very top of this building it does have like a 38th floor which is a rooftop but unfortunately that's under renovation so we're stuck with the lower rooftop which is on level six not as high as a view as i would have wanted but yeah we're just going to improvise adapt and overcome with this location try out some portraits test out the 20 mil versus the 35 and have fun with it actually come forward i don't want to form this is actually kind of cool yeah just look out like that maybe turn your head a little bit to the left yeah all right three two one one, three, two, one. Awesome. The 20mm is good for capturing pretty much the environment. It's not exactly like a detailed portrait lens, but I'm gonna do the 35 now just to compare it to the 25 and see how different the portrait photos do look. Like, even though there's not as many buildings as I uh, would have wanted, mm. the buildings actually make pretty good for Broca. Mm. Yeah, the lighting's pretty nice as well. Mm. Yeah, I think the lighting's pretty cool. Yeah. It just feels like you're lost in the city, mm. but I kind of like it. The colors have worked pretty well. The 20mm just has a different vibe. I don't know how to describe it. It's just different. Uh, yeah. I don't know oh, if yeah. I, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much a wrap for this shoot. Thank you, Nina, for modeling. Um, actually, quick question. So what do you feel like helps you with posing for portraits? I think it's helpful when posting the photos, there's kind of what theme they're going for, what mood they're going for, creates more of an imagery in my head. And then when they make like minor adjustments, like specific ones, and I kind yeah. of know, kind of get like, because I can't see what's going on, kind of make a good visualization of what I look like, and then I can, you know, yeah. act accordingly. All right, everyone go follow Nina on Instagram and follow Lamont as well. But yeah, thanks. So my overall thoughts on this Sigma 20mm f2 lens, I like it. For a lens like this in photography, it definitely shines in nature landscapes or even just architecture of buildings. And even with portraits like you see here, you can still capture the model in focus and even the environment. And for a type of photo that I've been really enjoying in portraits is isolating that subject to be really small in a really vast world. That's something I've really been enjoying. So it definitely is a really good lens for that type of shot. So that's a big plus. And comparing this lens to the 35mm, which 
for me personally is one of the better lenses for portrait photography over the 50 and the 85. It definitely captures, like I said, more context for the photo. That is very subjective depending on what you want in the photo. I find the 35 a lot less warped, but also has a lot more focus on the subject. Whereas the 20 mil captures sort of everything in the photo for where your model is, which is also a good thing. But yeah, this isn't a lens review video because I'll be honest, I am not the biggest expert on camera equipment. This was a video for me to help you and myself to take better portraits. One of the things that I learned was to have an idea or mood board or certain poses in mind because it helps you be ready for the shoot. Like as you saw before, on the day of the beach shoot, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do a beach shoot, but in terms of posing, I didn't know. So yeah, being prepared and having certain shots in mind definitely help a lot. And the second thing that I learned was communicate with your model. Like the model can't tell what they look like or what the camera sees, especially when you're changing angles a lot. It definitely helps when you tell them, you know, to turn certain ways or move the hand or, or even just do stuff with their face. <laughs> So yeah, making micro adjustments definitely help the model sort of visualize what they're, what they're doing. But something to really help is to show them the photo that you just took of them. Just to show them what the camera sees and it allows them to sort of adjust for themselves as well. And another thing that helps is counting down before you take the shot. Counting down really helps the model sort of be prepared and not blink or breathe and stuff like that. So yeah, count down before you take the photo. And the last thing that I learned is that on a shoot, something will always go wrong. So be prepared to improvise. As you saw with my shoots, I planned for sunset shoots and that didn't go as well. Locations didn't go as well. And all these sort of factors just were going wrong. And I could have easily let that discourage me and, you know, cancel the shoot or whatever. But no, I, I pushed through and, and the shots that I got from it, I'm pretty happy with shooting at blue hour, shooting at a different location, making it work, it still looks really good. So yeah, when you're on a shoot, just have fun with it. But anyway, like I said at the start of the video, I am giving away one of these 20 mil F2 lenses from Sigma. Thank you, Sigma. So if you want to win one of these lenses, be sure that you are subscribed, following my Instagram, following Sigma's Instagram as well. And the last step for this giveaway is to comment down your Instagram handle and what camera mount you'll need for this lens. And I will be announcing the winner soon on both platforms, Instagram and YouTube, so keep an eye out for that. But yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give a big thumbs up, subscribe if you want, and as always, continue to create. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.